All right, guys, so we've replaced the aquarium doors. We've still got to paint this stand, of course, and do all the inside. We gotta trim this out because there was a quarter inch piece of trim in here for the old doors that caught. So we took that out so I could get our doors in. They're a little bit wider this direction than the original door is here. So you see how much shorter it is. So we had to expand the width of the tank by just removing the trim and then they bolted right in. So the reason we switched those out, two reasons. Um, these just aren't as durable, generally speaking, uh, when it comes to the salt and everything that comes from the water on these doors, they just, they're not as durable. These have a much cleaner finish. Now what I used, if you're wondering, of course, once we get all this painted, it'll match up nice and well, but, um, these are just cabinet doors from Home Depot and I haven't put any handles on yet. I'm debating that still. We might throw some handles on, um, they're just a lot more durable. They got a better finish on them as well. We're gonna be painting this stand, but still this finish seems to be a little bit more durable in regards to water, uh, fighting water, of course, over time. And then also, it just looks a bit more modern. Once this tank is completely painted, it gives it a sleeker uh, finished look. So it's a bit more appealing than what these black ones did. So a little larger door, a little bit more durability long-term wise for water. And of course, the real reason, those are all just perks. The real reason we wanted these type of doors is just to give it that modern touch. So drop in the comments if you have any questions on how to do this. Uh, I'd be more than happy to share with you. It's pretty simple. You can probably figure it out. But if you want some information, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Tell me your thoughts. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'll upload the finished product a bit later. Have a good one, guys.